All right, so guys, this is number 10 out of homework 14, talking about adding, subtracting, and radical expressions. Okay, so let's take a look. We're going to be adding and subtracting radicals, okay? So the question here says, let's find the perimeter of the rectangular picture frame. Okay, so just to give you a general idea, guys, if suppose we have like some kind of a rectangle like this, and it can be any shape. But what the perimeter means is the distance all the way around it, okay? So if we were to be walking like around a football field or something like that, how far would we walk if we walked all the way around? Okay, so now we have our picture right here. And so I'm just going to kind of draw it so it's a little bit bigger to see. And let's see. So I know this side here is the square root of 7. It looks like the units we're using are inches. And this one here is 2 square roots of 7 inches, right? So remember, one thing we know about a rectangle is the opposite sides are going to be the same length. So what does that mean? That means that if this side here is the square root of 7 inches, then that one's also going to be the square root of 7 inches. And if this bottom one down here is 2 square roots of 7 inches, then the top part is also going to be 2 square roots of 7 inches. And since the perimeter just means, we said, the distance all the way around, right? All I'm going to do is start adding these numbers up. So let's do it like this. So let's start, say, here. So square root of 7 plus, and I'm going to go clockwise, so 2 square roots of 7 plus another square root of 7 plus another 2 square roots of 7, okay? So I'll tell you what, let's add like the way we did when we were in elementary school. Elementary school. Let's add straight down. So look, 2 and 2, that's going to give me 4 square root of 7. Remember, if I don't see the number here, guys, it's supposed to be 1. So if I add those together, that's 2 square roots of 7. And now I can go ahead and add these together, 2 and 4, square, or 6, I'm sorry, square root of 7. And again, my units here are going to be inches, okay? So when you're doing this here, uh, it's going to ask you, simplify your answer. So type an exact answer. This is exactly what you're going to type in, 6 and then the little symbol square root of 7. And then if it does ask you, I think right here under this part, it's a little drop-down menu. You're going to click on this deal, and it's going to say, is it inches or square inches? You're going to select inches, okay? So just regular inches. If y'all got any questions, let me know. I'm happy to help.